What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny or DXCXV. I try to say it fast, DXCXV. I like the ring to it. You guys let me know if you guys like it or not. If not, you can just call me DX for short. Have you guys noticed there's something different going on? <laughs> I got you guys on a tripod. You guys are not behind the monitors. This is not a playthrough. Instead, I wanna try something new with you guys today. You guys down? I wanna try my hand at doing some reviews. And my first review is something that I just recently got into. I mean, I've always been into this kind of stuff, but I knew in the future when I had more money, then I could really dive into this. So I managed to get my hands on the Fanatec Podium DD1 wheelbase. This is not a toy, so if you guys are excited just as much as I am, sit back and let's enjoy this review. <laughs> All right, a couple things I wanted to bring up on the wheel is um, this thing is very heavy. It's got a carbon fiber wrap around to it. It's made out of majority metal and it's got some plastic to it. Uh, this is a direct drive. It's not like your other Logitech wheelbases that are like gear or belt driven. So the wheel comes with the base. It is an F1 branded wheel and it also comes with the PlayStation uh, color scheme. It's got this really nice blue shiny hint to it along with the carbon fiber. Another thing is this thing is very quiet. It's not like your other um, wheel bases out there, your, your cheaper ones, which make a lot of noise. This is very quiet. You won't have any problems uh, getting on it whenever you want. This base is very strong. It can go up to 20 Newton meters. Just to compare that to Logitech, I think Logitech is like 2.3 to five or something. It's got mounting screws on the sides. On the two on the right and two on the left and it's also got about five more on the bottom so plenty of mounting options uh, as well i wanted to bring up is the uh, quick release so uh, i haven't had any issues with my quick release this thing has been super sturdy so if anything, it's it's kind of tight. It's a little hard to take off. I hear a lot of things about the firmware as as well. Since I've just got this, obviously I haven't had the uh, opportunity to notice the differences between then and now. But I hear good things that uh, firmware has improved a lot of things on this direct drive wheelbase and then this thing here is an emergency stop you want to hit that if you're about to crash uh simply to not hurt yourself and also not to damage the the wheel and the base so i am aware that the podium dd1 is discontinued as for reasons why i don't know However, you can get the regular DD1 still. Now, this thing is on six Newton meters of force. However, I would like to do more. If I crank it up to eight, it's just too much. And uh, it shakes the whole desk. So six is good enough for me right now. Until I get a proper rig, then I will crank it up. A couple things here. Um, on the quality of this wheel. Uh, it feels great. Um, obviously this Alcantara grip, you're gonna wanna wear gloves for this kind of stuff. Um, if you don't wear gloves, it's gonna, you're gonna get blisters on your hands. So, you know, especially if you're holding it on like this, you're, I could definitely see blisters around the thumb, on the palms. Um, 
But apart from that, put some gloves on and you should be good. Um, I put caps on these. These are caps, PlayStation cap buttons. Um, the buttons feel good. They have a good click to them. This rotary thing, uh, I don't know what it's for, but it does feel nice. It doesn't feel loose. It feels good to me, at least. Um, and then, as well as the joystick. Now, this joystick is a little bit different from this one. This one's more loose. Um, and then, you've got these little knobs. They feel a little flimsy. But they still feel fine. They don't feel too weak. Now, there's a little tiny button right here. If you press this, uh, the screen comes up and it sh it'll show you uh, setup one. And then you can alternate with this joystick to go up and down to choose the, uh, the setup that you want. Now, on the app, on the computer, you can configure all that. And I believe you can also even configure some of that stuff here on the wheel. But, I, f I don't know. To me, I'd rather just have my settings all set up. And then I can choose which setup I want on the fly. So that way I don't have to, you know, do little tiny increments, changes. It's just setup one, setup two. And with all the dialed in stuff ready to go so the lights do come on uh, I've noticed sometimes they don't but whenever you turn on Fanalab uh, it'll get the LED lights to come on and uh, it's real nice when it you know when it comes on because uh, you can basically look at that and it'll let you know when to click uh, which brings me to the next item the paddle shifters Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna get a good shot of this. But these paddle shifters, let me get up close to the mic. I don't know if you can hear that. But man, that sounds very satisfying. Very, very satisfying. They are carbon fiber, I believe. And the paint job on this thing looks amazing so I still think the grips look good I'll be honest it looks a little better on camera than in real life <laughs> but um, as far as the flex that everybody's talking about I'm new to all this guys I haven't noticed much flex if anything I feel like it's super grippy in here for me like Every time I take this wheel out, it's very much on there. So, and I've noticed this, uh, this oily substance uh, inside. I don't know if that's normal, guys. Let me know in the comments if you guys uh, have experienced that. But apart from that, I haven't had any issues other than it's really well on there it's a really hard to take out I don't do it that often so maybe once I do it more it'll be easier to pull in and out I am aware of the new uh, quick release system but that'll be a future upgrade guys right for right now I can I can put up with this this does not feel that graininess feeling that everybody's talking about I'm not so sure what you guys are talking about I'm not feeling anything like that. I don't feel any rattle. Like, this thing is nice and tight. So, at least for me, it's working great. But yeah. And let me show you the box this thing came in. Uh, oh, and the power supply. This thing is freaking huge pretty heavy I think it has a fan in there I'm pretty sure it does uh, it's got other cables yeah don't look at that sorry about that this is how I power on 
the device. Uh, there is a button on the back. It's very tiny. It's this little thing back here. Come on, camera. It doesn't want to be not play nice, so sorry about that, guys. But there it is. My hand's gonna mess it up probably. <laughs> but right now I have the. This is the e or the emergency stop, the torque key, the power supply and then the pedals. And it's got extra plugs or inputs for your e-brake, uh, your shifter, another shifter. It's got extras. And then as well as the USB. All right, so as this thing is powering on, I wanted to mention the price. This used to be $17.99. It dropped down to $12.99 and now it's sold out. The regular version is 19, uh, or I'm sorry, 999. And I just looked up on their website. I think it comes with a new quick release on top of that. That's a really, really good deal. So. And as always, my dogs love to interfere. <laughs> Nigel, hi, big boy. Say hello to uh, YouTube. YouTube, Khalidi. Say hello to YouTube, big babies. Since you guys want to get in the way of my B-roll, I love you guys. <laughs> okay. All right, so what I want to show you guys here is something real quick, just to get you up and started. You want to download these two apps, Fanatec Control uh, Panel and Fanalab. Once you, uh, I would do the control panel first, Fanatec control panel. So as you can see, it's reading my wheelbase and my pedals, and my wheel. And if I turn the wheel, you see it's turning there. Um, you may have to calibrate it when you first turn this on. I'm not sure. The only thing I messed with on here was the force feedback strength. I have it set to 30%, which is six Newton meters. I could crank it up to eight, but uh, like I've been saying, it'll It'll shake up my whole desk and I don't want to do that. So, so I get my uh, TRX and I will make a review on that. Uh, and then I'll post an update on this wheelbase with a proper rig, but everything else I've kind of left alone right now. I haven't really messed around with it. You go to the wheel, you can click on this and you can mouse emulation. So. I have selected mouse button seven, this one here. Once I press that button, I can move the mouse with this joystick. Yeah. There's some more stuff there for you. I did not mess around with all that. Again, I'm not sure what all this stuff is. <laughs> there are other YouTubers that have gone more in depth on this than I, I am going to. Um, Look at the pedals. This is easy to calibrate as well. Throttle, brake, clutch, pretty good. As well as the shifter. I don't have one, but I will get one soon. And then tuning menu. This is where I have it on advanced mode and I have set up one selected. However, I have the same thing, except I keep cranking up the force feedback. So 40, 50, 60. Yeah, 40, 50, 60, 70. No need to go 20. It's that's way too much, guys. Like, yeah, you need to be super strong if you're gonna do that. Let's go back to setup one firmware update. Pretty self explanatory here. Not that hard. I have set it up how I like it, you know. Um, and then once that is all set up, you go to Fanatec Lab or Fanalab. What I've done here, I know you can uh, do a lot of customization here, and I know there's people that uh, upload their settings on here. I haven't done any of that yet, but all I've really done is I've gone up here where it says LED. I noticed when I was playing a set of Corsa 
the red light in the speedometer or this if the screen wouldn't light up it wouldn't say anything so i, was, I came on here click this i was able to enable the display and the rev lights i was able to make sure the speed was on there that's all i really did here but there is a lot more customization you can do but yeah all right guys um let's do a race and i will give you guys as much input as I possibly can on it. Set the course up, competition. Or competition. Okay. I have it set at six Newton meters. I wish I could do more. <laughs> the max I can do is eight, but I just don't like seeing all this shake. So six will do. But until I get a proper rig, then I'll be able to crank it up. For now, six. Six is better than two and a half, right? Feel it, traction. I need some more. That wasn't too bad. Uh oh. No way, <laughs> that thing got stuck. Yeah, I wish I could add more torque to this. It feels good, but I feel like I'm not getting as much detail for having it so low. Ah, crap. Oh, crap. I'm such a bad driver. Man, I'm a crappy driver. I can do better than this, guys. <laughs> Wasn't too bad. Oh, goodness. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Stone first. <laughs> Probably had it on easy. I, I can't remember. Yeah, as you guys can see, I need more practice, so. <laughs> that felt good, I'm not gonna lie. I just, I do wish I had more Newton meter. Uh, I want more force but it's, it's, it's too much. I need, to, I need a proper rig. So until then, 
you know, until I get my Track Racer TRX. Track Racer, I can't wait for Black Friday. <laughs> um, hopefully you guys let us finance. <laughs> Even with the Black Friday deal, please. <laughs> um, let us add that $20 off for subscribing too. Let us add that, please. <laughs> But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you think this was a fun review, if you think you learned something and you made a decision or not, give it a like, a thumbs up, and uh, or subscribe. That'd be nice, too. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to get affiliate links. If you don't see it yet, hopefully soon I'll have them in the description. But uh, aside from that, race on, guys. I'm going to continue here on a set of courses, so later guys, bye.